Hi, it's Frederick, and today I would like to show you a new Raspberry Pi Zero project I made uh, this week. It's a little information display which can be used to display any type of information. For example, I've configured different screens and using two buttons I can navigate and uh, trigger some actions. For example, the first screen is the time and date and using the right button I am able to toggle between the 12 hour and 24 hour uh, display mode. If I click on the left button, it switches um, display and this one shows the networking information. So it shows the SSID, then the IP address, network mask and the gateway of uh, the currently configured uh, IP settings. If I trigger the right button, it reconnects to Wi-Fi. So it shuts down the interface, waits a little and then restarts it. You will see the blue LED reappear forcing a reconnection to the network. At first, we don't have any IP settings, and in the end, it will refresh and display the full settings. And finally, a third screen I configured is uh, some social network information. Uh, first, it fetches the data from the internet, it parses some web pages, and based on that, it can display the subscribers, the followers, and so on, of the different social uh, media sites. It will only refresh every five minutes, but by pushing the button, you can force a refresh. You can configure this uh, display to, to display basically anything you want. You can show the, the weather, your emails, uh, latest tweet and so on. It's uh, whatever you can program in Python basically to, to show on the display. Let's have a look inside uh, how I hooked up everything. I've used some screws to keep a back panel in place. It's not perfect, it's the first iteration of the case, but uh, it does the trick for now. Um, inside there is a Raspberry Pi Zero and if we remove it uh, we can see that there is a Wi-Fi dongle connected straight to the USB on the go port and then there is a, a display, an OLED display which is connected to the GPIO pins uh, using I2C. And finally there are two push buttons connected to other GPIO pins it's using an, an internal pull-up of the GPIO pins and when pushing the button it connects to ground triggering a low signal which can then be detected using the code. So as you can see it's a very simple build and it's very compact and uh, using the 3D printer I made some measurements and designed a very simple uh, enclosure to put everything in. That's it, I hope you like the project, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about it. And if you'd like to see anything else, a different project, let me know and I'll try to make it.